Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record a supplier invoice to a contact and in essence, create a supplier account at the same time. So just as before, when we wanted to record a sales invoice for a customer, we clicked on accounts and we went to sales. This time we want to click on accounts and go to purchases. We will then be on the purchase screen. And as before, when we looked at the sales screen, we saw these boxes here, the blank at the moment, but as we add invoices, supplier invoices, the data will show here, such as overdue invoices that we owe, invoices awaiting payment, and other invoice information. So how do we record a bill or a supplier invoice? Simply go to new and select bill. We will then get a invoice template appear just as before, the invoice template is a bit different. The color scheme is a bit different, but it's just the same as we did when we recorded a sales invoice. So we need to bring up our supplier. So this is where the invoice is from. It's from the supplier. This is the contact that I added. You'll notice that I can also bring up Essex accountants and record an invoice from them. It might be that they are a supplier and a customer, but for most that won't be the case. Your customers and suppliers will be totally separate. So let's bring it up again. There we go. If you remember, I set the payment terms as the 15th of the following month. So if the invoice is dated today, we have the 15th of March, the 23rd of Feb, 15th of March. This is all set automatically by default because of the details I put in the contact. So we can save you a lot of time if the payment terms are correct with each contact. The reference, so this will be the invoice number. So it could be absolutely anything. It could be a series of letters and numbers whatever the invoice reference is, you can put that there. And then we have this template just as before. We're not gonna put an item in, but we could, if we wanted to record stock, as before I showed you that you could add an item to record stock going out and it'll fill all this in by default to save you a lot of time you can actually record the stock coming in. And that's how you keep your infantry on X0 is by recording the stock coming in, the stock going out. But let's just do none. And the description could be anything. I'll just put insurance as an example. Quantity. One, the price was one hundred pound. Account, this is the account we want the funds to be allocated to. So we have expenses. Do we have an insurance expense? Here we go, insurance 433. And in a later video, I'll talk more about these codes and how to edit them and how to add more of them. But as mentioned previously, also, you can just add a new account here if you don't see it. So tax rate, it's exempt. So no VAT on insurance. If we wanted VAT, though, we just click on this drop down box and put 20% or 5%, whatever the VAT amount needs to be. So if 100 pounds subtotal, no VAT and the amount is 100. Once again, we could save. If it's a big invoice, we've got lots of items. It could be that we do some of them and save as we need to go away from our desk for a while or we have unstable internet or whatever it is. But once we're ready, we click approve and then the invoice will be approved on the system and allocated on X0. So we have this confirmation box that the invoice has been recorded. Once again, we can see the invoice if we go to contacts and suppliers. 
Now that we've raised an invoice to this contact, they're considered a supplier. Now that we've recorded an invoice to this contact, it's regarded as a supplier. Okay, so we're at the supplier contact screen. You'll see that we owe £100 to them. That's the insurance invoice. We can also click on their account. We have their account appear on the screen. We have their contact details just as before. You'll notice in the activity we have the bill approved £100 and the amount owing at the top here. So pretty much the same as before when I went through adding a contact and raising a sales invoice for that contact. But this time it's been for a supplier. In upcoming videos, I will show you how to edit supplier accounts and I'll also show you how to create and raise credit notes for customers and record credit notes from suppliers. Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll speak to you in the next video.